It says, but my head shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. The law of spiritual empowerment. That the grace upon your life is what controls what comes around you. I can know what is on you by what I see around you. I can know what is upon your life by the testimonies that recycle around you. I can know the level of grace you carry by the possibilities that your life commands. If it is not there, it is not there. Are we together? Yes. That it is true that God anoints men. It is true that God lifts men. It is true that God helps men. He gives power to the faint. And those who have no mighty increased strength. He does that by putting something upon your life that will cause a generation to come at a standstill. Our generation is too busy to be called together by common things. It will take the bush burning to attract Moses. There has to be more than science. There has to be more than philosophy. If it is by the finger of God, then it can call the attention of creation. Listen to me. God brought us to this conference to put something afresh again that will lift you to a dimension. I have seen the power and the excellency of spiritual empowerment bring for me a weak person with no door opening and let that person have the privilege of obtaining genuine grace from a man and I show you a sign and a wonder. It is not difficult. It is only the grace on you that makes it so. Every mountain is relative to the anointing that confronts it. There are anointings that can trivialize what looks like a mountain. A mountain is relative. Please hear me, people of God. I share the burden of your pastor to tell you, I know he put this conference because it looks like the economy is challenging. It looks like a lot of things are happening. But there is enough grace. How God anointed Jesus. Not that he was anointed. Look at the extent to which he was anointed. With the Holy Ghost and with power, then he went about doing good. It takes more than a good heart to do good. It takes the anointing. Holy fire, burn upon my altar. From within me, spirit to take over. Holy fire, burn upon my altar. Holy fire, burn upon my altar. From within me, spirit to take over, holy fire burn upon my altar, holy fire, holy fire, holy fire burn upon my We're about to pray. Something will come upon your life that will reward your sacrifice in this conference. Please listen to me. Listen to me. Many years ago, I had the privilege of meeting a man of God. I was researching about God's generals, Pastor. I wanted to know who had met with the generals that was alive and had put in his heart to study them. Because the day I took God's generals to read, it was as if I was reading about my relatives. Something in me could not leave that book. It was as if a baton was looking for me. And then when I heard that that man had met a number of the generals and those they had met, I went to go and meet him and I said, please, I came. I want you to talk to me. What did the general say? And I remember him saying, Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Sumrall, he said, do not die 
with this anointing that every time you are old find young men find people empowered with the spirit transfer these possibilities to them i said that's it that's it i have come to connect to that lineage because there is a generation in need of this pattern we cannot talk about the things that happen as history and stop there men carrying the anointing of the spirit i remember that day i started having encounters after that time now, my life has been full of encounters i'm sorry i'm talking about myself it's not any means to be arrogant at all i just want to as we pray to just share this with you and i remember one of the nights i met this interesting personality after we finished talking it was like an impartation happened and he turned and began to go and i asked him i said sir you did not tell me your name and then he walked a while and turned to me and said paul and he turned and continued moving the very apostle that wrote two-thirds of the new testament and the spirit of revelation came upon me in a strange way the eyes that see and the ears that hear let me tell you mantles are real unctions are real graces are real if you have not captured them in your life you would think people are lying the possibilities in our lives are not governed just by our desires they are governed by the graces that we can host god is able to make all grace because there are many it's not only one and so we are going to pray there are people here who desire certain graces i can share with you stories upon stories upon stories i'm a product of many anointings many anointings many anointings i went a few years ago pastor the lord gave me an instruction to go and meet god's servant bishop david oedipo and i went down carried a seed and went down to canaan land and you know to sow and honor his grace and when i was done i came out and the holy spirit asked me to place my hand on the ground right there and i placed my hand on the ground there and the spirit of the lord spoke to me he said from today you have entered the overflow anointing please hear me if you see men in the flesh you will never receive anything if you can see me as i'm taking if you discern that i am not just a person elijah was saying i'm a system embodied in a person men are not just men they are continuity of a program don't mind the bodies look at the agenda through men let me tell you sincerely many of the people you see are carrying what is older than them is ancient the bodies are the only ones who are modern and if you sustain the eyes to see our generation has lost the honor of reception this is why very few people are anointed it's not god's desire to have just a few people no borrow not a few he wants many vessels but the reason why the vessels are small is because we see men in the flesh we are going to pray 